Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'm going to share with you few of the question and answers that have been asked to few of my subscribers. So let us go through those question and answers one by one and we'll be covering the question and answers that were put in uh, various companies such as uh, HCL Technologies, Capgemini, then uh, Nalasha Technologies. So what I have done is uh, I have shared, I have uh, compiled all these question answers which you can refer for your interview preparation and this is very important this is for the experienced people who is having experience two plus years of experience it is not for freshers so if you are a fresher then please hold on for some days we'll be coming up with a document with such kind of question bank for you as well because recently now the interviews have started so what i thought is to share such kind of question answers question banks with you so that it is easier for you guys to prepare for the interviews and uh, you can also give mock interviews on our channel so these are the things. So uh, let us see a few of the question answers here. So as you can see this document, it has nearly 100 plus question answers. It has both questions as well as answers. So uh, it covers uh, Capgemini automation interview questions. It covers HCL, it covers Nalasha Technologies and many more companies. It also includes few of the questions that are pertaining to manual testing few of the questions that are pertaining to automation testing frequently asked questions that I have put in this question bank then apart from that uh, few of the question answers you can expect from uh, the different companies with respect to API testing as well so those particular questions have been covered so for example let's take this question right how and where do you use collections in your automation framework so where do you use collections so generally you have to explain where have you used collections in your test automation framework so maybe you have used array list or maybe you have used hash map so for example hash map can store web element objects with keys representing their unique identifiers so this is the code with respect to java you can also use collections for managing test data. If you have to configure some test data, you have to manage some test inputs, expected outputs or any configuration parameters. So you can use test data for, you can use collections for that as well. Or else if you want to handle some dynamic data. So for example, uh, this example, we have covered some collections such as list or maps. Right. You can also use array list for the same. You can also uh, use collections for storing the test results, maybe in the form of pass fail statuses, error messages or any screenshots. Right. So there also use you can use map. Right. So this is one of the question. Then few other question which you can expect in an interview is which exceptions you frequently faced while doing automation. So there are multiple exceptions that you would have frequently faced. One is no such element exception. One is timeout exception, then stale element reference exception, then element not interactable, invalid selector, web driver exception, unhandled alert exception, element click intercepted exception. So there are multiple exceptions apart from this also, which you can add if you're getting any exceptions in your project and you are able to explain in an interview. So you can explain those exceptions as well, right? So this is one of the question then uh, you have the other frequently question how do you handle ajax calls in selenium right so maybe you can use implicit weight you can use explicit weight you can use javascript executor and how can you explain in an interview so those kind of answers have been formed here right how do you run test ng test from the command line so again these are the frequently asked interview questions to few of my subscribers so you might be seeing the success stories that we have been uploading and there are many other success stories also that we'll be uploading and definitely it is with all your love and support that uh, we are getting such kind of things happening and what i have done is i have consolidated most of the frequently asked question answers along with the company's name so what you can do is you can get this document also so let me share that link as well with you so this document has been uploaded on the top mate, right? So here I have uh, 
created this link i'll be putting this link in the comment section of the video with definitely some discount percentage available for you because today is akshay trithiya it's a, one of the you know auspicious occasion so i would like to share this thing with you right and it has nearly 100 plus question answers again as i mentioned it is something for experienced people not for freshers for freshers still we are working on it and it covers various question answers from various companies such as capgemini Nalasha Technologies, Bridgestone, ADP, SNP Global, Solitera Solutions. You'll get an idea of what kind of questions you can get in an interview. It is not like if you're going for Capgemini interview, then you will definitely again get these repeated questions. No, you also might get these questions from different companies. So as I mentioned, these are frequently asked questions. So whenever you are preparing for interview, be sure be very well sure that you are prepared for these kind of question answers because these are something that you can expect in an interview if you are having some experience, right? So it is something for the experience of two to six, seven years, mid-level of experience also. You can get these questions. I have covered manual, automation, API testing, few DevOps questions related to Jenkins I have covered in this particular product. So you can purchase this product. The link with the discount is available in the comment section of the video itself, right? So you can avail this product and uh, we'll also see few couple of more questions so that you can get an idea whether this document is helpful for you or not. So, and secondly, if it is helpful for you, then please do Put a positive testimonial, give us a positive rating on TopMate as well. Right. So one of my subscribers went for ADP SNP Global Company for automation test interview. So there he got this question. What is the difference between Selenium and Cypress in terms of architecture? And which one will you recommend according to your opinions? So such kind of questions you can expect if you are mid-level experience, like five plus years, six plus years of experience. You should know what are the pros and cons of different tools, different technologies that are there in the market. You should be updated with respect to the different testing tools that are there. Right. So you can explain about Selenium architecture. You can explain about Cypress architecture, the recommendation with respect to the project needs, the requirements. You can explain which tool would be good. Then what is the difference between monolithic and microservices architecture? This was also one of the question. Then um, they were asked to find X path for some particular table cell so that I have included here. Right. And then there were a few of the uh, cross questioning questions. So let's say if you're explaining about your framework. And then you might get some cross question on the challenges in that framework. That, so what challenges you can explain? And let's say then again, the second cross question, which you might get is how will you handle the dynamic elements, such kind of things. Then again, once you answer, so again, the interviewer might ask, OK, you are moving to the browser tabs. How did you handle multiple tabs in Selenium? Right. Then what are the interfaces? How how do you handle the different challenges or limitations in Selenium? So it's a kind of a conversation based interview questions also that uh, we have tried to cover here. Then what is the difference between Git pool and Git fetch? Hmm? Then uh, what is definition of done in Agile? So uh, definitely you can expect some Agile related questions as well. Then how do you think Agile model is really helpful in sprint basis? Right. What are the different assertions that you can use in Cypress or that you might have used in Cypress? So these are the list of all those things, right? So Cypress related questions also you will get then Broadridge company on site round. So when I say on site round, so the subscriber was asked to go into the company and they were asked to um, write their code or maybe a panel was there two or three members were questioning to them. So such kind of things have happened. And earlier, if you'll see in the interviews also, if you'll see first two rounds or first round, it would be a virtual round, maybe a telephonic, or maybe they will ask you to connect on Google Meet or Zoom. But as, as in how your candidature will be liked by them, so you will be asked for the on-site interviews. You would be called for those kind of interviews. So it is very important that you are prepared for on-site interviews as well. So such kind of questions have also been covered. Right. So a kind of a question bank, which is being available to you. 
on this auspicious occasion. Thank you so much uh, for watching this video. And thank you so much for providing all your love and support to this channel for growing because it is all because of your continuous love support that we have been getting. So we have been able to move this channel to the next level. So I hope that uh, I will be, will be getting such kind of blessings, which we will be getting such kind of support from all of you people in the future as well. So would be hoping for the same, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to purchase this product from the top mate today itself. And uh, once again, all the best for your career and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.